When we first enter a relationship, there is usually one lingering question. Is this the right person for me? We want to be sure. The signs of a bad relationship are not always clear. So, let us talk about 13 familiar relationship red flags. 1. They are unreliable. Maybe they never answer their phone. Or they may text you saying, I'll be there in 15 minutes and then shows up 30 minutes later. Perhaps they cancel plans because something came up. When you care about someone, you will go to great lengths to see them. You phone, text, and schedule time to speak with them. Because people devote time to the things that are important to them. If you're dating someone who consistently exhibits this indicator of unreliability, it could be a hint of something more serious. It would be smart to bring it to their attention and see if they change. But, if all they give you is a promise to change but never make any effort, then it may be time for you to move on. 2. You do not share good news with them. When something good happens to you, whether it is a little thing, like a small win at work, or a big project that you got finished, and your first instinct is to not mention it, then it is time to ask yourself, why? Are you afraid that they would disapprove? Are they a negative person? Are they a bad listener? In a healthy and happy relationship, your first impulse is to tell them everything about your life. You celebrate each other's achievements. But, if you feel like you cannot have this privilege, then, it is a clear warning sign that you are on the way to an unfulfilling relationship in the long run. 3. You can't trust them. One of the most important aspects of any stable relationship is trust. It is possible that the trust problem is with you and not them. So, you will want to make sure that you do not have any envy or insecurity issues. With that out of the way, do you get the feeling that something is not quite right? Do you have constant questions concerning what they say or where they go? Then, it is time for you to decide if you want to spend the rest of your life always on the lookout and in constant uncertainty. 4. You make excuses for them. He really wants to change. She is just going through a rough patch right now. He has been burned before, so that is why he has trust issues. I know she cares about me. Once you start making excuses like these to justify their actions, it signals the beginning of the end. It is good to be optimistic and try to save the relationship. But for how long? Is it worth holding on even a little longer if the relationship is not getting any better? So, if you have caught yourself making excuses, then it's time to see them as warning signs pointing you to the exit. You must sometimes confront reality and trust that it is better to move on. Why keep going down a path that leads nowhere? 5. There is too much family drama. It may be that they don't get along with their family because of family issues. That is one thing. But if they don't get along with their family because of their own issues, that is even worse. And if their family dislikes you, even when they have no reason to, it can lead you down a road of perpetual awkwardness and unhappiness. Can you live with these issues? Do you want to? And even more importantly, why should you? 6. You wonder if there's someone better out there. You know the exciting feelings of a fresh relationship. You are all wrapped up in the fun and chemistry of the honeymoon phase. When that phase passes, you begin to see signs that you didn't notice before. Maybe you want to move for a career, and they are happy just where they are at. Perhaps you are both opposites, but not the kind that attracts. This is not necessarily a sign of a bad relationship. Instead, it's a sign that you're heading in different directions. You might find yourself wondering, is this what I want? Or you imagine yourself with someone else and fantasize about how your life would be with that someone. When you are with the right person, no other fish in the sea can get your attention. All you want is to strengthen the relationship you already have rather than pursuing the greener grass on the other side. 7. They struggle with their mental health and won't get help. You can only play doctor, therapist, and parent for a while. But before long you will be emotionally drained. You want them to get better, and part of getting better means seeking help. You should provide emotional support where you can, but you can't let it run your life. These days, there is plenty of help available for people who suffer from mental illnesses, whether it's anxiety, depression, or something else. If you have suggested to them many times to get help and they are still not trying, then it's time to decide. What's worse, if your relationship has been falling apart and they still refuse to get help, then it might be time to move on. Do not let guilt hold you back from being happy. 8. You feel the need to change them. Ignoring your deal breakers is one of the most obvious signs of a bad relationship. We all have key qualities that we look for in a partner. When we find someone that is not up to our standards, we ignore it for a while then we end up trying to change that person. 
But keep in mind the proverb, you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. There is always room for improvement, but you should not feel obligated to change the person with whom you are living. People do not change, and it is a waste of your valuable time, which you cannot get back once it's gone. 9. They make you impatient? Relationships take patience and dedication, but no amount of patience and dedication can fix a relationship between two people who are just not right for each other. The ideal relationship is supposed to bring out your best. You're a team. Unfortunately, many people stay in relationships that drag them down. You look at yourself and do not even recognize who you have become. People don't want to be around you and your partner because it makes them uncomfortable. This can easily happen when you get caught up in your feelings for someone. But remember, you can still love them, even though they don't bring out your best. But do not let that cloud your judgment. They might not even be a bad person, they just might be bad for you. 10. They aren't committed. Do not ignore this. It is one of the plainest signs of a bad relationship. Do they avoid the subject of commitment with you? Is it possible that they are just not ready for a serious relationship? Or do they want you to get your act together before they try to make it work? The truth is that if they want to commit, they will. If they do not want, then there is nothing you can do to make them. Besides, why would you even want to force someone to be with you? People commit because they want a future with you and the thought of losing you is scary. If they are not committing, then it could be because they are not afraid of losing you. Sure, they may enjoy the time you spend together, but they enjoy more keeping their options open. You should not have to question someone's commitment to you. 11. They make you feel bad about yourself. No happy and mentally healthy person wastes time trying to tear someone else down. Do they nitpick at what you do? Are they a negative voice when you are together? Do they embarrass you around your friends and family? A good partner sees your success as their own success. They try to help you improve your imperfections instead of fixating on them. We are already hard enough on ourselves. The last thing we need is for someone else to be hard on us. 13. You just feel it in your gut. That sinking feeling in your stomach is one of the last signs of a bad relationship. If something tells you that the relationship is not right, it probably isn't. However, admitting it is a frightening thought because you have already put in time and effort to make it work and you care about them. Every relationship has peaks and valley, that's life. But if you find yourself often questioning if they are right for you or not, then the answer is probably not. Think about what you are missing with the right person. The more time you spend with someone who is not right for you, then the more time it takes away from the person who is. It is good to trust your gut instinct.